<laughs> and it was written by Frederick Lowe and Alan J. Lerner. The song itself, yes. Um, all right, so this next song, oh, it's one of my favorites. It's, it's, how do I describe it? Um, so, the melody is very upbeat and very happy, very joyful. But the lyrics are insanely depressing. <laughs> and the song is called Artificial Flowers, if any of you know it. It's a very obscure song. It was made popular by Bobby Darren. And while I'm singing it, I urge you to listen to the lyrics, to hear the story. It is a story. And don't think I'm a monster if I smile during it. <laughs> it's just a, it's a joyful melody. So this is Artificial Flowers. Alone in the world was poor little Anne As sweet a young child as you find Her parents had gone to their final reward Leaving their baby behind Didn't you hear this poor little child? was only nine years of age when mother and dad went away still she bravely worked at the one thing she knew to earn her few pennies a day she made artificial flowers artificial flowers Flowers for ladies of fashion to wear She made artificial flowers Artificial flowers Fashion from Annie's despair With paper and shears with some wire and wax She made up each tulip and mum Snowflakes drifted into her tenement room Her baby little fingers grew numb From making artificial flowers Artificial flowers Flowers for ladies of high fashion to wear She made artificial flowers Artificial flowers Fashion from Annie's despair They found little Annie all covered with ice Still clutching her poor frozen shears Amidst all the blossoms she had fashioned by hand And watered with all her young tears there must be a heaven where little Annie can play In heavenly gardens and bowers And instead of a halo, she'll wear around her head A garland of genuine flowers No more artificial flowers, throw away those artificial flowers Flowers for ladies of society to wear Throw away those artificial flowers Those dum-dum flowers Fashioned from Annie's Fashioned from Annie's despair You know what I mean, though? It's yeah. very impressive. But it doesn't make sense, because you're telling right? I love it. And it's a fun song to sing. Uh, but <laughs> the melody. <laughs> the melody, that's what it is. It's so upbeat. Um, so Bobby Darren was the only one that I found that recorded it. His, his recording is very similar to my rendition. So, but maybe I'll be a second recording artist. There you go. Um, so, following my theme of songs from musicals, here's almost like being in love.
What a day this has been What a rare mood I'm in Why it's almost like being in love There's a smile on my face For the whole human race Why it's almost like being in love All the music of life seems to be like a bell that is ringing for me And from the way that I feel When that bell starts to peal I could swear I was falling I could swear I was falling Why it's almost like being in love I want to thank you all That's such a lovely audience so far I'm not done yet, but so far We've got a lovely audience, and it's really helped have smiling faces to sing to. Thank you, it really means a lot. All the music of life seems to be like a bell that is ringing for me. And from the way that I feel when that bell starts to peal, I could swear I was falling, I could swear I was falling Why it's almost like being in love Thank you. Thank you. Now, who can tell me what musical that's from? What? Who can tell me what musical that's from? Bring it in. Yes, Hello. correct. Yes. <laughs> And, and, does anyone know who performed this song in the movie? It was Gene Kelly. Yes. yes, it was Gene Kelly. <laughs> now, I have been asked many times what genre I sing. And because a lot of people my age ask me what genre I sing, I usually say jazz because it's easy, it's simple, it's fast. But a better term for the genre that I sing is the Great American Songbook. And it encompasses jazz, like Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald. It encompasses musicals, like Brigadoon, like uh, My Fair Lady. It encompasses Frank Sinatra, Bobby Darin, Dean Martin, and blues songs, too. Jerry so, Vale. And Jerry Vale. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So that is my genre. And I, through high school, I took singing lessons for about two and a half years. But where I really learned how to sing and how to perform, at least how to perform better and sing better, <laughs> is uh, the Great American Songbook Academy. And does anyone know Michael Feinstein? Yes. 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 So Michael Feinstein is, um, yes, Michael Feinstein, yes. <laughs> so he is, if for those that don't know, he is a new age crooner. He still sings the Great American Songbook, these kinds of songs, and he still performs. So he started this foundation called the Great American Songbook Foundation, which runs the Great American Songbook Academy. And it takes, 40 students, high school students, from across the U.S. and brings them out to Indiana. Go to Indiana, and it's a competition, summer uh, singing camp, summer intent, it's, it's a lot of things. But you learn how to sing, you learn how to perform. You get to learn from Michael Feinstein, you get to learn from people in the industry, different professors, different um, Broadway actors, and it's an incredible opportunity. I, I learned so much about it, like so much from it. I, it was incredible. And at the end, it is a competition. So throughout the week, you're practicing two songs. I went for two summers. I went, first summer I did You Don't Know Me and I've Got the World on a String. Those were my two songs. Second summer was Night and Day and The Impossible Dream. So, those, you work on two songs for the entire week. You work with these incredible professionals, um, vocal teachers, accompanists. My 
assigned a company as for the week was actually a company of my grandfather and some shows, which was incredible to be able to play with someone who played for my grandfather, which it was an incredible experience in itself, right? Um, then at the end of the week, there's a big showcase. All 40 students do all two of their songs. It's a very long day. <laughs> And then at the end, you find out who the top 10 is. Top 10 then get to perform at a stadium, or at a place called Palladium, <laughs> in Carmel, Indiana. And it holds 1,600 people. So getting to perform there is incredible. It's such a beautiful, beautiful concert hall. And the whole experience was incredible. And that's why I like performing. And it's, you know, you made so many close friends. And it's cool to meet people that like the same music as I do, to like this genre of music, because there's so few my age that do now. And to be able to hear incredible singers and, and people that know all these different songs, that I can learn all these new songs. Some of these that I'm singing tonight, I learned from that experience. But it was, a, it was an incredible time. I, I got so much out of it. Um, so, you know, I love these obscure songs, right? Like Artificial Flowers. <laughs> Barely anyone knows it. Besides its content, I love the obscurity. But sometimes we gotta do the classics, right? The classics are the best. So, this is my way. And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friends, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway And more, much more than this I did it my way Regrets, I have a few But then again too few to mention I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption I planned each charted course each careful step along the byway and for much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew when I bit off more than I could chew, but through it all. When there was doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. I faced it all, and I stood tall and did it my way. I've loved, I've laughed and cried had my fill, my share of losing, and now, as tears subside, I find it all so amusing to think I did all that, and may I say, not in a shy way. Oh no, oh, no, not me. 
I did it my way. For what is a man? What has he got if not himself? Then he has not to say the things he truly feels and not the words of one who kneels. The record shows I took the blows and did it my So, before I sing my last song for you all tonight, I want to say thank you for coming. You've been a wonderful audience. Seriously, it means a lot to me, you know, my first time being up here and singing as long as I have. You've been so kind, and I really appreciate it all. You're singing our music. <laughs> really? Thank you. I, this, is curtain falls. <coughs> off comes the makeup, off comes the clown's disguise. The curtains fallen, the music softly dies. But I hold your smiling as your